Hello everyone! Welcome to our day three update of Moonshell a Mermaid game. I'm Callie Wright, the game designer, and I am so excited that we are 60% funded through our 48 hour mark. Woo! -hoo! Say hi! Say yay Dante! Yay! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so while we didn't hit the 48 hour funding stretch goal, we did do very well at 60%, so I'm happy about that. And so while we don't have the funding to develop the special mermaid objective cards, we do have something else that's a little simpler that we'll put in the game instead. So we'll do six uh, reference cards for the solo mode play, and I will reveal those later. But first, today we do have a big content reveal of content that will be in the base game for everyone. I'm so excited to share this. We went back to our manufacturer and said, well, what could we add into the game within our budget right now? And, you know, just give more of the game out to our backers. So we are adding some new um, alternate mermaid art and abilities. So you may have noticed we have these cool mermaid boards and there's four of them in the base game. And we have now, we're reeling right now some alternate mermaid, some dark side mermaid art and a special unique different ability. So you can choose to play with either side when you're playing. And these sort of dark side mermaids, I call them that not only because the art and I'll show you all of them soon <laughs> is a little darker, but also because they have a little bit more competitive and active abilities. So right now we'll go down below. I'll show you each of the alternate art mermaids, the dark side mermaids, and a little bit about how their abilities work. Here are the four mermaids in the game right now. We have here our hibiscus mermaid. I do want to say about these new abilities. They are unique in a few ways. They actually change how you use the mermaid bowls and how you play the game. So first we have our hibiscus mermaid tide pool. Place your mermaid bowl on a tile in the water. No one else can collect it. So you actually be using your mermaid bowl with these dark side abilities and interacting with the board or the treasure chest board. So let's say you want this tile here. You don't want anyone else to take that seashell. Place your mermaid bowl there. And remember, just like in the passive ability, when you use your mermaid bowl, you'll flip the tide token, which alternates which way the board will rotate. And then we have Koi Mermaid and her ability is Inlet. You'll place your mermaid bowl on a rock space in front of you. No one else can collect there. So you actually choose one of the rock spaces right in front of you and sort of reserve that space. Whether there is a tile there or not, you can choose either one. Next up, our crystal mermaid has a swap ability. You'll place your mermaid bowl on a tile on your treasure board and swap it with another tile on your board of the same color or the same shape, except of course your moonshell wild piece if you are playing with that. Let's say we want to swap this piece here, this white sand dollar. Well, we have another sand dollar here that we can swap with and we'll simply swap those around. Finally, we have our Kelpie Mermaid with the ability Buoy. Place your mermaid bowl on an empty space in your treasure chest board. When collecting a tile, you may later replace uh, your mermaid bowl with that tile. So let's say we want to save this space for later, but we want to collect this one and place it here. And then later, if you have another tile you want, say you want a purple one there, you can replace your mermaid bowl with that purple tile. So you see the Abilities here are a little bit more interactive. They're more active is what we call them. And you're actually using your mermaid bowl to interact with the game more. Let me know what you think of the dark side mermaids and their abilities in the comment section of the campaign. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I do have a couple other little quick announcements here. We are doing on our unfiltered gamer live streams, which is every Wednesday night at 6.30 PST, PM PST or 9.30 PM Eastern. We are doing some giveaways and playing a lot of Moonshell as well as other games. So definitely join us there during the live stream. Just, uh, it's a lot of fun 
commenting and um, <laughs> playing games together, watching us play games and interacting. And you also get a chance to win a board game. So last night's giveaway winner was Chris Wren. Thank you so much for backing. You'll get your choice of four of the games that we displayed on the live stream last night. Let us know, contact us through Facebook or our Discord on Unfiltered Gamer. So definitely join us there. Finally, I'd just like to say thank you everyone who has supported and shared the campaign so far. I really, really appreciate it helping bring this mermaid board game to life so people everywhere can play it and enjoy it. And I just want to say it, it is all or nothing campaign, so but we are over halfway there. So if everyone just, you know, told a friend or pulled someone else in maybe that could be interested in mermaids and or board games to back the game, we'd be funded in no time. All right, until the next update, thank you guys so much.